Who more but more? I think. My mom's a Ganyan. Of course I can't sweep her feet with the broom, or else I'll give her bad luck forever. Try it. <laughs> this Ghanaian white lady together with the family has been promoting Ghana, putting Ghana's name on the map. I find the abundant and the sort of content that they create pretty interesting because they depict a Ghanaian culture. So I've compiled about five to six videos to show the people on my channel how some of the Ghanaian women in their state kind of socialize um, their children with a Ghanaian culture. Watch the video and tell me what you think about this video, the bonding between them and the sort of content that they create and whether you want me to continuously upload such kind of videos on the channel. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ambassador Vix. Let us move right into the video. My mom's a Ghanaian. Of course I've worn waist beads since I was little. Yeah. Aren't she they pretty? My mom's a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Of course she's going to call avocado pear. This is not pear. You call it pear in Ghana. It's an avocado. Avocado. My mom's a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Of course I can't sweep her feet with the broom. Or else I'll give her bad luck Superstition. forever. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> my mom's a Ghanaian. Uh -huh. Of course I have to use black soap to wash my body and not the fake Alexa stuff Samina. they sell here. This is the real stuff, the real stuff from, from Ghana. Ghana. My mom's Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Of course if I do something to piss her off, she'll say, Kwasia mm -hmm. and Tom Tom Wabu Tom. Do you guys even know what in Tom Tom means? Mosquito. It's mosquito. Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Of course, when I was little, she told me the story of Mami Wata. I Mami won, Wata. I won. My mom's Ghanaian. Oh, that's a sister. Of course, when I get in trouble, she says, I'm going to send you back home. I'll take you I back guess home. we got to get in some trouble. <laughs> mom's Ghanaian. Of course, she makes that's the best fufu in light soup. And you better use your hands. No spoons allowed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Chop time? No, no friend. friend. <laughs> My mom's Ghanaian. Of course I eat gari and peak milk when I can't find anything to eat. My mom's Ghanaian. Of course she's going to ask me to pick up the phone, even though it's right next to her. So, come answer the phone! Hello? Hi. My mom's a Ghanaian. Of course I've never had a sleepover. She always says, is your bed broken? So I'm coming in Ghanaian home, so I understand. My mom's a Ghanaian. Of course I can't get a 99% on my test. Or she'll say, what happened to the other 1%? Yes. My mom's Ghanaian. Of course I have to wash my body with a sponge. Or else she's going to say I have to shower again. Mm -hmm. My mom's a Ghanaian. Of course I'm going to become an engineer or a doctor. You don't want to be a content creator? My mom's Ghanaian. Of course she'll cancel plans if she has a bad dream. Guys, we're not going out today. Why? I had a bad dream. Enough is enough. It's not enough. The people are tired. Are they tired? are not tired. Guys, they are tired. They want more. Oh my god. Anymore. My mom's a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Of course we eat kenke and sheto. But be careful with this one or else it'll put you right to sleep. My mom's a Ghanaian. Okay, oh. guys. Yeah, so guys, I don't know whether you are paying attention to that. But anytime that she starts a video, she says, my mom is a Ghanaian. My mom is a Ghanaian. It's, it's kind of cool, okay? Because it's not easy for you to be an African woman, especially you coming from Ghana. It's not common. It's not common. Yeah, so I mean, she, she, she admires the mother, how the mother has been, you know, imbibing that kind of Ghanaian culture into them. I find that pretty interesting. Let me know what you think. Of course we play Owari every day. It's one of our yeah. favorite games. Like the local games. Your turn. My mom's a yeah. Ghanaian. Of course, if she sees me watching TV, she's going to say, Did you read? Did you do your chores? Is your room clean? You can never catch a break. Mom's a Go Ghanaian. And read. Of course, she makes fresh bobo to eat with cocoa in the morning. They look delicious. Just take one and go, please. Mom's a Ghanaian. Of course, she bargains over everything. She never pays full price. It shows sure that she's a Ghanaian. She's speaking there. They've been never worried, never worried yeah, too much. I think. Always bargaining. Always bargaining. Ghanaian mothers. Me patch up. Me patch up. Me patch up. Price of action. Mom's a Ghanaian. Of course, we eat banana with peanuts. It's one of my favorite snacks. Oh, okay. In Ghana, we say ground nuts. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, my mom yes. is a Ghanaian. My mom is a typical, typical Ghanaian. Just, just come, just come okay. see what she's doing over here. 
She's using a knife. Can you guys leave me alone? To open a can of carnation milk. When, in fact, in the drawer right next to her, she has a can opener. Why? She's the right two for the right job. Can you leave me alone? And then, and then don't no. forget, she takes the wrapper off of the carnation can, wraps it up, shoves it in the hole. That's and how you're supposed to do it. Fish. We That's have saran no. wrap. We have tin foil. We have anything that you can fill the hole with. Why is the wrapper? That's how we do it back home. But why? It's in America. We are in America. Why? Guys, this is how we do it back home, okay? Yeah, but you're in America. So many so. easier ways. Look, you can just like, like clamp it. Excuse you. You can just. And why it. in my face, girl? <laughs> <laughs> you can just clamp it. And that's Different it. Different culture shock or something. Mama, but I'm on. Adding. Ah. Get, get, Let me drink my tea and pee. And now you're gonna eat she it with bread. I'm gonna dip it. Actually, you can tell the people. I'm gonna dip the she bread in the tea. Put you the have a problem in the tea. But is this even the right bread? Is it just gonna fall apart in there? Hey! Are we safe? I said, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is how we do it, okay? And you're gonna take your bread and you're gonna dip mm -hmm. it. Dip in the tea. Mm. That's how you do it. Do you have a problem? Mm. Culture shock. Go, please. Go. <laughs> well, bye, guys. Why so What's the problem? Why are you sniffing? Hmm. What? Guys, I think we yes? have a problem. Or you have I a problem. Have a problem. You have Normally, the problem. I wake up and I always smell like my mom's cooking in the morning. Anything different today? Anything. What's the problem? Like, I know like out. when I wake up, I always smell like the spices or something, but there's nothing. And I know that my mom's awake because my mom wakes up mm -hmm. before everybody. I see. So. I don't know what's going on. Go, I'm going to check it out. Look. All right. Well, my dad's awake. Mm. The dad is there. Kitchen is closed, mom. Closed? Wow. Dad, what does mom mean by the kitchen is closed? Oh, the dad is there. Closed. The dad ordered today. Oh, white man. Don't ask what's for lunch or dinner. Why? I'm not using the kitchen today. But, mm. what? Why? I didn't do anything. Did you do something? Find something else to eat. No, I didn't do anything. You guys didn't do anything. <laughs> Why do you think I'm sitting here eating? Must you do something? Why do I have to suffer? Ma! Ma! Yes. That's how we call our mom. I guess so. Well, I call my mom Tala. So, mm. you know. My mom is a Ghanaian. Uh -huh. Tell me why she's cutting up a coconut outside with a machete. Because machete. she claims that she wants the fresh machete? coconut water. When there's Ghana ones that come machete. in a bottle. And now she's literally recruited my dad to help him. Well, her. I mean, he's a man. so. Like, this is ridiculous. He's a man of the house. Ma, what are you doing? I want some fresh coconuts. You don't have a good machete. The right pronunciation is machete. No, it looks yeah, a little... machete. Not much yet. Beat. Babe, can you help me? The man is there. Give the coconut to the man. My dad. Chop it. <laughs> hey, That's a man. Uh -huh. It is good to have a man, not a bear. Hey. Look at uh -huh. all this trouble. My dad's go. Oh, juice. Simple. Look at all this trouble my dad's going through to give my mom a coconut. Of course. Dad, is That's mom your queen? Yep. <laughs> Who else? Oh. I like the the unity, yeah, the bonding, the togetherness. Look at who's drinking it's it very now. Jovial. Yeah. Hey. Well, that's a brother. Wow. They're fighting okay. over it. Yeah, so guys, this is the end of the video. I like for the fact that 
the mother has been able to socialize the children with the Ghanaian culture and everything. I don't know whether they've been able to visit the country before, but I think that if um, they've not been able to visit the country or the continent, I think that the mother should be fast to bring them to Ghana to for let them to experience the typical Ghana. Let me know what you think about this video in regards to how the mother has been able to socialize the children with the Ghanaian culture and the unity among the family. What can you learn out of this, you know, this content? And let me know whether I should continuously upload um, YouTube videos with this specific content about this family because there are a series of videos that I'm wanting to bring on the channel. Let me know whether I should bring some of the videos on the channel as long videos. But if you go on my YouTube shorts, I've been always uploading daily videos, short, short videos, about a minute videos at the YouTube short section. So anytime that you want to watch some of those content, go to my YouTube shorts, you find those content there. My name is Ambassador Vix. See you next time in another episode. Sokoto, Mayande. I'm a proud Ghanaian. Yeah, I'm a proud Ghanaian.